my show was about hope. I want to, and as you very kindly stated, we've, we've engaged millions of people in programs, including programs we did with the CDC, to get folks to realize that there are different ways that they can rethink uh, their future, that their best years aren't behind them, they're in front of them, they actually can lose weight. My best estimates, and I'd love for other industry members to offer this, is that probably 80% of the products, which are made by 20% of the companies, are high quality, reputable products uh, by people who really do their homework. Uh, and are audited in many different ways, good manufacturing processes and the like. And then 20% of the products are made by, you know, a lot of the companies, theoretically 80%, uh, who really aren't that good. Uh, they're fly-by-night. Uh, the quality issues are, are a major concern. Some of these dietary supplements, especially the ones that are simulatory supplements, raise great concerns for me. They're often adulterated, even though they claim they're, you know, not working in that way. Uh, it, that has been a proven way of getting weight loss. You put an amphetamine type product in a drug, in a product, and it, it'll work with weight loss, but the side effects are just too great for us to tolerate as a, as a population. People want to believe they can take an itty bitty pill to push fat out of their body. They want to believe that. I know you know how much power you have. I know you know that. You are very powerful, and power uh, comes, with power comes a great deal of responsibility. And I know you take it seriously, and I know you care about your listening audience and your viewing audience. I know you care about America's health. So, uh, uh, and you are being made an example of today because of the power you have in this space. Uh, and, and we didn't call this hearing to beat up on you, but we did call this hearing to talk about a real crisis in consumer protection. And you can either be part of the police here or you can be part of the problem, and we're just hopeful that you will do a better job at being part of the police. Well, I, I came here because I want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Your comments about the, the, the language I use is well heard, and I appreciate it. I host a, a daytime television show where I feel a, a, a need to, to bring passion into people's lives about what they can do, and I'm very respectful uh, of the fact that when it's used, uh, and it has been used uh, as a way of defrauding people, that it's a harmful process. And I appreciate your kind words about the power I have. I, I'm in a situation where I, I, I'm second guessing every word I use on the show right now. I have things that I think work for people. I want them to try them to, just to help them feel better so they can keep doing the other things that we spend every single day on the show talking about. And when I feel as a host of a show that I can't use words that are flowery, that are that are you know, exaltatory. Um, I, I, I feel the, you know, like, like, like I've been disenfranchised, like my power's been taken away to get people. You don't want to be in a, in, a, in a pulpit talking about how passionate you are about life and thinking, well, you know, if I use that word, it's going to be quoted back to me. And yes, the hundred words around that are all about doing other things right. So I'm very respectful. I've heard the message. I've told my colleagues at the FTC, I get it. No one's telling you not to use passion, but passion in connection with the word miracle, pill, and weight loss is a recipe for disaster in this environment in terms of the people who are looking for an easy fix and um, getting um, sometimes, I think, delusional about whether or not an easy fix is going to be there for them.